Connected with all of it, but didn't get a good landing, that's for sure. Neville now up. Oh my goodness. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm glad to have you guys here and welcome to the finals. That's right, we're gonna be doing the round four semifinals and finals of this month's PCW event, PCW Destino. We have the final eight patrons and wrestlers left in the tournament. We have Neville versus Eddie Guerrero, Kazuchika Okada versus Hiroshi Tanahashi, CM Punk versus Brock Lesnar, and Shawn Michaels versus Booker T. These are the last eight people we got to see who will become the PCW August champion for 2018 and who gets the chance to face off against Tetsuya Naito for the PCW World's Championship. So as usual, leave down in the comments below what your favorite match of the episode was once we finish. Leave a thumbs up to show your support and let's go ahead and get into the first matchup here, people. And remember, if you want to join PCW, all you have to do is check the link in the description and check all the information out and just join. It's easy. This match is scheduled for one fall and is a round four match in the PCW Destino Tournament. On his way to the ring, representing Sydney W from patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, he is the man that WWE forgot, Neville. On his way to the ring, representing Hail Mendoza from patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, Mr. Charisma Personified, Viva La Raza, Eddie Guerrero. Let's get this match underway. Eddie Guerrero gonna go for a pin in the first like 11 seconds? This man really wilding out like that, okay. Well, Neville's definitely got his hands full. He's got his work laid out for him. He knows what Eddie Guerrero is trying to do. He's trying to stay in this tournament. Neville already on the outside of the ring from a body slam. He's having to work his way back in. Neville has to work from the ground here. Off the ropes goes Neville with a single leg drop kick. Going to drop Eddie Guerrero in the middle of the ring. DDT from Neville as he starts to string together some moves here. There you go. Get the match in your own pace. You know how to work this, Neville. Eddie's not going to allow that to just happen. You got to work for it, buddy. Oh my goodness. Just tossing Neville, but Neville's back to his feet early. A face wash will discombobulate Neville, but not enough so he can hit that Frankensteiner. Into the corner now. Look at this fast paced action here, man. I can barely call this. Here we go. Neville coming in with the kick. Uh-oh, that baseball slide. Oh, no. He was able to stop. Okay. Stop right in his tracks, man. Eddie Guerrero saw it coming and was able to get back up. Frankenstein there. Neville from the corner with the moonsault. Just a one count. We saw that earlier with Cody Ibushi, and now Neville's bringing it out. Fireman's carry there from Eddie Guerrero. Neville with the insecurity going to drop. Uh oh, the surfboard. My man's got him up. No, he is not going to give up just yet, anyways. Face wash from Eddie Guerrero, and now we have a strike contest going down. These two dudes are beat the hell up, but they got to keep it together. But you're so close. You're so close to the finals. Both men are down, but Eddie Guerrero got the upper hand on that one. Northern Light Suplex. We've seen it before. We're going to see it again. No, just a two count. Kick the abdomen from Neville here. Both men, high flyers, frog splash, red arrow. Near the turnbuckle for either men could be the end of this match in a second. So I think it's actually kind of smart of Eddie to drag him to the center of the ring. Eddie knows that Neville's been giving him that work so far, so. Eddie Guerrero now picks Neville back up. DDT from Neville in the corner. Both men are, well, it looked like both men were going to be down, but Neville might have been playing a little possum possum action. Here we go. Fisherman suplex into that Fisherman Buster trifecta. Eddie now going after the legs of Neville. In the corner, Northern Light suplex, no road breaks in PCW. Frankensteiner here from Eddie Guerrero, who's now going to go for a pin off of it. Just a two, Neville able to kick out. Neville trying to make it as far as humanly possible in this tournament. This is usually where Neville runs out of gas in every PCW tournament. So he's trying to break that curse. Eddie Guerrero down. Off the ropes goes Neville there. Oh, big cross body. Connected with all of it, but didn't get a good landing, that's for sure. Neville now up. Oh my goodness. 2.9. Eddie Guerrero getting released. German suplex. Neville is done playing around. Eddie Guerrero just used the last bit of his energy to get Neville out. And now Neville's back up. What is he waiting for here? Neville front missile drop kick. From behind now. Oh, I thought he was going for a poison run. He rolls through with it. Eddie's shoulders are down. Just a two count now. 
as Eddie Guerrero gets him up. Oh, wait a minute. My man just played him out with that variation of the gory special. Two. Just a two. Uppercut there from Eddie Guerrero as he picks up Neville. Off the ropes goes Eddie. Kick to the abdomen there from Neville. In the corner. Eddie. Is he going to follow up? He gets Neville on the top. Uh oh, this could backfire. What the hell? Oh my God! What was that? 2.9, whatever it was. Neville was able to kick out. High angle German suplex. They're breaking out crazy moves and Neville does it. The high angle German bridge and Neville and Sydney W are moving on to the next round. Yo, Eddie was crazy. That was like a razor's edge joint off the top. I don't even, that was wild. This match is scheduled for one fall. It is your round four match in the PCW Destino Tournament. On his way to the ring, representing Stefan D from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse. When it rains, you're probably blaming him. He's the rainmaker, Kazuchika Okada. On his way to the ring, representing Sam M from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse. He's the John Cena of New Japan, Hiroshi Tanahashi. It will always come down to this, people. Yo, Tombstone 11 seconds in? It will always come down to this. Kazushka Okada and Hiroshi Tanahashi, the two aces. It will always come down to this. Tanahashi with the body slam now near the ropes. Which one of these men will move on and face Neville in the next round? We will see. Tanahashi now got him down, going for the legs of Okada. I thought maybe we were going to see a strike contest, but I don't know. Goes for the knees of Okada, but Okada's back up already. You must not have noticed that he has the protection of the mommy battle pants. Tanahashi throwing Okada off the ropes now. Them hit skis coming off the top. Forearms, the back and forth punches between both men. They're kind of just trading blows right now. Okada with a big boot off the ropes there to Tanahashi, but his knees are getting taken out. Tanahashi has a game plan here, people. Give up. Give up. Tanahashi has a game plan. And now here's that strike contest. I was wondering where it was at. Both men exchanging blows here, going to the center of the ring, and they are still exchanging blows. Okada the one that gets the upper hand here. Off the ropes are going to run into each other, but Okada has a snap suplex just waiting for Tanahashi. Tanahashi now off the ropes. Big drop kick. That 10 star drop kick from Okada. Body slam from Tanahashi now as he picks up Okada san from behind. Okada, big German suplex. We just saw a German suplex pick up a W, so you never know. Suplex there from Okada now as he picks up Tanahashi. Drop kick from the front. He's calling for that Rainmaker. Will he be able to get it is the question. Fireman's carry. High fly flow, Tanahashi. 2.9, Okada is able to kick out. He drags Tanahashi to the center of the ring. He's got him where he wants him. Oh my God. He's gonna try to to choke Tanahashi out. I thought he was gonna go for the Rainmaker. Okada switching it up just a little bit. Tanahashi now with a suplex of his own. Uh-oh, up on the top again. High fly flow, but Okada. He saw it coming. He said, just bring it, Tanahashi. He knows his games. Snap suplex from Okada, who goes to the top. Big elbow drop on Tanahashi. And it's just a two. The crowd is starting to come alive here. Okada picks up Tanahashi. Tries to go from behind for that Rainmaker, but a fireman's carry will say otherwise. Texas Cloverleaf on Okada. Not happening here tonight. Tanahashi with the European uppercut here. He tries to go for a pin, trying to conserve that energy as much as humanly possible for these next rounds. But Okada's not doing that. He's going to let it ride. Death Valley driver into that sitting drop kick. Off the ropes now. Okada's still aiming for those knees. Off the ropes goes Tanahashi. Just sending him out with a flapjack. Just a little flapjack. Uh-oh. Oh, the fisherman driver there from Tanahashi. 
1.9. That was so damn close. Body slam from Okada now. As he drags Tanahashi to the center of the ring, and you know what he wants. Wait a minute. High angle German suplex bridge. Is it going to happen again? 2.9. Tanahashi picking Okada up off the floor. Swinging neck breaker from Tanahashi, an old signature. 2.9 Okada not letting it happen yet. Dragon corkscrew. Okada, Death Valley driver one more time. Both men are down at 10 minutes 30. Wait a minute. Front missile drop kick. Tanahashi was woozy. Body slam sends him to the floor on the outside. And Okada's going to chase. Rainmaker! Okada hits it with a body slam. He was going for it again. Are we going to see a count out? Are we going to see a count out? Nope, Okada is able to get back in the ring. I thought it was getting there, people. Death Valley driver from Okada. What has he got? What the hell? Springboard drop kick. Okada into a senton. What in the? This man is crazy. Tanahashi with the dragon court screw. Okada from behind. No. Tanahashi. Oh, wait a minute. Back and forth. The, they know each other so well. The drop kick from Okada. And now we go into a strike contest. Tanahashi with a drop kick. He picks up Okada. Okada needs to do something right now. The drop kick from Okada. Double axe handle to the back from behind. Tanahashi saw it come and went for the knees. What is going to happen here as Okada goes into the turnbuckle? Tanahashi with the clothesline. A European uppercut will send the ace down. Tanahashi high fly flow. Is that going to be enough? No, just a two count as Okada puts him down with a Death Valley driver one more time. Tanahashi up. He's woozy. Big boot from Okada who's going to take a second to get some breathing room in. He falls back on Tanahashi, not allowing him, but Tanahashi was waiting for him with the kick. Picking him back up here. European uppercut, 15 minutes, 30 seconds. You knew it was going to be like this. Flipping senton, but the no cell fighting spirit from Okada. You knew it was going to be like this. Is that going to be enough? 2.9. Snap suplex from Okada. Picking up Tanahashi from behind, but no. Okada down. Texas Cloverleaf is locked in. Okada not giving up. The resilience of this man is crazy. Tanahashi is trying to figure out what will it take. Off the ropes now. Big drop kick. Okada floored center of the ring. Tanahashi said this match is over. But Okada says otherwise. As he picks up Tanahashi. Uh-oh. I thought to say, dude. It was about to get crazy. Okada with the body slam, picking up Tanahashi from behind. Tanahashi saw the Rainmaker coming. He might have like a special Rainmaker sense. But wait a minute. Tombstone Pile Driver, that could be it. Just a two. The Tombstone was just a two. Rainmaker! And it's just a two. Oh my God, I can't believe this. 19 minutes, high, fly, flow. 2.9, oh my God. Oh my God, what is happening? What is happening? 19 minutes, about to be 20. Okada telling him to bring it. And that's exactly what Tanahashi is gonna do. As he picks up Okada, center of the ring. Okada from behind. Okada got flushed like a poo. Down goes Tanahashi. He goes for the pin. And oh my God, he did it. Kazuchika Okada and Steven D are moving on to the next round. Tanahashi going down like a sack of hot rocks. This match 
is scheduled for one fall. It is a round four match in the PCW Destino Tournament. On his way to the ring, representing Echo Kiwi from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse. He's Mr. Keep Your Friends Close But Their Checkbook Closer, CM Punk. On his way to the ring, representing Tom C from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, he was the conqueror of the Roman Empire, Barack Lesnar. The Summer Slam rematch, CM Punk versus Brock Lesnar. CM Punk has had quite the damn tournament run when it comes to opponents. It's been sort of insane. Well, we'll see if he'll be able to beat Brock Lesnar here and move on to the semifinals. Or Brock Lesnar will take that meat out. We'll see what happens here as Brock Lesnar with a double axe handle in the back of CM Punk. And he is just clobbering this dude. Brock Lesnar is clobbering this man. He beat Cody Ibushi quick. We'll see if he can do the same thing to CM Punk here. He's going for a pin right now. Got the leg and everything. Brock now clubbing the back of CM Punk center of the ring. You know he wants that F5. You can smell it in the air. What has Brock got planned here? He had a power bomb, but CM Punk was able to reverse. Thank goodness, because that could have been it. Dragging CM Punk over. Just kicking him in the midsection. What has he got planned here? He's going to drop him on his damn neck. Brock Lesnar is a beautiful bastard. This man is crazy. He's picking up CM Punk now as he goes from behind a big clubbing lariat. And a spear. And now he's got... Oh, wait a minute. CM Punk. Oh, Brock Lesnar. Oh, is Brock bleeding? Uh-oh. F5 from a pissed off Brock Lesnar. And it's a 2.9. Brock is bleeding everywhere. CM Punk opened this man up hard way. And I don't know if this is the best thing for CM Punk. A pissed off Brock Lesnar is not what you want. Suplex on CM Punk now. Clubbing overhead. Release German. CM Punk back to his feet, but Brock said it's going down. In the mall, it's going down. Brock is chasing CM Punk to the floor on the outside. He needs some. Belly to belly, he could have sent him into the crowd. Brock telling him to just bring it. Brock's clubbing blows. CM Punk is taking a hell of a lot of damage. A suplex is a good start here, but Brock is just crazy. Gut wrench suplex to CM Punk now as Brock drops him on his neck again. What more does CM Punk have here? Belly to belly, send him outside. Brock's going down to chase him. CM Punk is playing possum waiting for him. Brock is still bleeding everywhere. Good God. This man is bleeding everywhere. Wait a minute. A count out? Power bomb! 16, 17, he's woozy. Oh my God, we were so close. Brock was about to do it to him. Big Lariat there, a bleeding Lesnar. Belly to belly and my man's on the floor again. This is a burial in every sense of the word, but CM Punk, this is the same movie used to bust Brock Lesnar open. If he can get more like that, he still might have a chance. Brock now, oh my God, this is just crazy. This man is just laying him out. He's going for that shoot. CM Punk with the kicks now. If I was Punk, I would go for a count out because it looks like you were getting that ass beat right now. If Brock can connect with the F5, man, I don't know how much you got. Oh, a belly to back from CM Punk. Here we go. But a belly to belly from Brock Lesnar will answer back, and that is some tough stuff. Oh, wait a minute. Punk got him again. That triangle almost. And here we go. Back and forth, 10 minutes 30. See him punk with a kick to the head. He actually knocked down Brock Lesnar. A big bulldog from CM Punk. 
A kick to the abdomen from Brock will stop that momentum that Punk was gaining off that string of moves. And Brock has got him up for a power bomb. Belly to belly and out goes CM Punk again on the floor. What does Punk have to do? Well, first off, he definitely has to get away from this rope. Uh-oh, the takedown again, but Brock isn't getting stopped this time. Brock was putting it on him. Oh, wait a minute, this could be CM Punk's chance! And he caught him ice on the busted open head of Brock! And CM Punk does it! CM Punk and Echo Kiwi well, outlasted Brock Lesnar. All that damage. And he got past him. This match is scheduled for one fall. It is a round four match in the PCW Destino Tournament. On his way to the ring, representing the Skizzard from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, the man Dolph Ziggler wishes he could be, Shawn Michaels. On his way to the ring, representing Jordan J from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, the future mayor of Houston, Booker T. And the last match of this round, we have Shawn Michaels and Booker T to round out the Elite Four. Who will be able to get it done as Shawn now has the slap and chops over here on Booker T. Old man Sean looking to put a PCW championship around that waist. We'll see if he'll be able to do it or Booker T will just lay that ass out. Body slam now on Sean as he continues to go for that abdomen. Sean with a suplex going to get reversed. Booker T suplex center of the ring. Sean had more to gain on that, but Booker T ended up getting the upper hand. Goes for the pin now just a one. I don't even know though because we saw matches into three minutes. So I mean anything could happen. Big clothesline in the corner there from Booker T. Sends Shawn Michaels over too. He's going to follow it up. Oh, the one, two, three, four, five hoopla. One of my favorite moves. Shawn now with the backbreaker on Booker T. Dropping an elbow on him. Into the turnbuckle goes Booker. The chops from Shawn. The brutal chops taking the damage down on the chest of Booker. Both men down now. We are only three minutes in. You can tell how exhausted these dudes are from the rest of this tournament. Sean trying to get a grapple going with Booker T, but it's not happening. Booker, wait, is he going to get him on top of that? What does Booker got planned here? Oh, a superplex from the middle rope from Booker T. I know what my man had planned there. But a bookend is what he has planned there. And it's just a two as Sean is able to get out, but he's going to go for a pin. Oh, hold on now. What? This man, Sean, crazy. He thought he was going to get a pin off that. And now we have a strike contest. Back and forth, Booker T and Sean Michaels. Who will come out on top here? Sean Michaels, using the last bit of his energy, is going to be able to take down Booker T and follow up. But we have a small package. Sean Michaels' shoulders are down. Just a two. Sean with the hits now off the ropes. Back body drop sends Booker down. Sean now off the ropes again. Another back body drop. I'm not exactly sure what he has planned here. Another bookend from Booker T. And it's a 2.9. Oh, my God. I thought that was it. I was about to say, and we have a, we have a winner. That was about to get crazy. Sean now picking Booker up. Sidewalk slam from Booker T. And he rolls him up. Oh, just a two count. A slam off the fist from Shawn Michaels. Center of the ring. Shawn looking for a power driver. And he gets it. He's not going to go for the pin, though. Off the rope. Shawn Michaels back body drop. He's been going to that quite a lot during this match. I guess he feels like it's a safe move. That spine bust is going to hurt a little more than a back body drop. Center of the ring. Shawn Michaels with the suplex. Taking down Booker. We're getting closer and closer, people. DDT from Shawn Michaels. He wants that elbow, and he's going to get it. He's going to go for the pin. Is Booker going to stay down? No, just a two count. Sidewalk backbreaker from Shawn Michaels. Oh, my God. He told Booker to suck it. 
Booker is not going to take that nicely. I'm going to tell you that much. You don't tell another man to suck it and then think, think, think things are going to go okay. A big lariat from Sean who wants another elbow. Is he going to get it? Yes, he gets another one. But Sean used a hell of a lot of energy. Booker now into the turnbuckle. Tree of woe position. Kicking the hell out of this man. And Sean goes to the floor on the outside. Booker T is feeling the woozy. This man is feeling the poozy. Schoolboy here, Sean. Michael's shoulders are down. 2.9. That was almost all she wrote. Sean Michael's story almost ended in a second. A low blow from Sean. My man wants to win by any means necessary, and now he is just knocking Booker T out continuously. Into the turnbuckle goes Booker T. Shawn Michaels going to follow it up with some abdomen shots now. Shawn Michaels elbow from the top. Booker T taking big damage. Super kick the sweet chin music. And it's just a two. It is just a two. But this bookend from Booker T. Oh my God, 2.9. Shawn now. Pow driver. Is that going to... Oh, he's not going to go for the pin. What the? Spine buster from Booker T. I thought he was going to go for the pin, but he doesn't. Shawn Michaels now up off the ground, and we have a strike contest about 13 minutes in. These two are going at it. This crowd can appreciate these two. Who is going to... What in the world? Booker with the kick. Super kick. Sweet shit music from Shawn Booker out on his feet. Spine buster from Booker T. Uh-oh. I thought my man wanted that spin Rooney. I thought that's what he wanted. The kick from Booker. The knee follow-up. Off the ropes now. Drop toe hold from Shawn Michaels. He picks up Booker. Off the ropes goes Shawn. A kick from Booker T. Will send him flush. Turnbuckle time. Shawn getting spine buster by Booker T. A kick to the abdomen. Booker T. Uh-oh. Booker wants that axe kick. Sean's not going to let him get it. And both men are down at 15 minutes. Another reset. Into the turnbuckle goes Booker. A kick to the abdomen. They're trying to string together something that could possibly end this match, but both of them do not want to allow the other person to do so. Atomic drop there from Shawn Michaels. Is that going to be enough? The baby makers! Shawn Michaels and the Skizzard with the atomic drop like it's 1980 again, baby. Shawn Michaels and the Skizzard moving on to the Elite Four. This match is scheduled for one fall and is a semifinals match in the PCW Destino Tournament. On his way to the ring, representing Sydney W from patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse. He is the man that WWE forgot, Neville. On his way to the ring, representing Stefan D from patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse. When it rains, you're probably blaming him. He's the rainmaker, Kazuchika Okada. We are down to the final four patrons and wrestlers. Neville and Kazuchika Okada are fighting it out to see who will go on to the finals. Will Neville finally make it? Or will Okada stop that right now? Neville's had one hell of a tournament. We'll see if he can fight through here and continue that. As he hits a body slam near the ropes. Neville's positioning is top tier right now against Okada. Let's see if he can keep it up here. Okada with a suplex to Neville. And now my man is flexed out center of the ring, just waiting. Uppercut from Neville. He's going after the long legs. That never seems to work against Okada, but people still try to do it. STO will send down Neville as... Uh-oh, I thought he was going to go for the Rainmaker right away. He got behind him. Super kick from Neville. Going for the legs, trying to neutralize him one more time. Okada reversing that suplex gets Neville down. Neville has got to watch out for the Rainmaker, but the Rings of Saturn is locked in on Okada. It's been a long tournament, but Okada is still going to be able to get out of that situation. 
Wait a minute, Okada now into the turnbuckle. Neville, big forearm. Okada, oh, I thought Okada was about to get that red arrow joint, but Neville went for the pin instead for some reason. I think the nerves might be getting to Neville. Okada's been in this situation before. This ain't nothing new for the big dog. A big forearm shiver one more time. And now we got a strike contest. Uppercuts from Neville, punches from Okada. Quick one, Neville getting him down and then going for the legs one more time. Maybe Neville has a long-term plan that we don't know about. Step up in Zagiri to Okada. Going for the pin one more time. No hook in the leg or anything. Interesting decision from Neville, but a body slam will put him down. Wait a minute. Woo! Okay, I thought he was going for the red arrow. 2.9. I thought that's what he was going for. My man, I was about to say, Okada might be losing it here. Went for the Enziguri. Okada steps out of the way. Frankensteiner there from Neville. He's looking around. He's smelling out the situation at hand. Top rope. Red arrow from Neville. And it's a 2.9. Okada was able to get out. Super kick. Whoa! What a front missile drop kick from Neville. The speed and agility. Uh-oh, he's got Okada up that superplex. But Okada said nah, and he's dropping the elbow. Just a two. Okada with the DDT. The crowd appreciates this match. Another elbow as he goes for the pin. Just a two again. Oh, wait a minute. Neville ended up getting behind him, throwing him into the turnbuckle here. But Okada dropping Neville on his neck. Uh-oh. Neville is out cold. Again, Okada following up one more time. I thought maybe he would go for it. He's not going for the Rainmakers. Maybe he feels like it's not time. A crossbody there to the back of the back of the back of the back of Okada. Outside the ring now, Okada's not the type of dude to be doing springboards, but we've seen him do it before. Throwing, damn, he threw Neville back in the ring. Neville's like, what the hell? Well, nonetheless, Okada wants to get this match done with. He doesn't want to give Neville even a second. Frankenstein there from Neville as he picks Okada back up. Big high angle German. We've seen it before. We're going to see it again. 2.9. Okada picks up Neville. That big 10 star drop kick. Damn, Neville just dropped like a sack of hot rocks from behind. Now Okada off the ropes. Big boots sent him flying. STF from Okada is locked in. Is Neville going to give up? And he died. Did he just give up? Kazuchika Okada and Steven D made Neville tap at the last possible second. And Kazuchika Okada is going to the finals. This match is scheduled for one fall and is a semi-finals match in the PCW Destino Tournament. On his way to the ring, representing Echo Kiwi from patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse. He's Mr. Keep Your Friends Close Put Their Checkbook Closer, CM Punk. On his way to the ring, representing the Skizzard from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, the man Dolph Ziggler wishes he could be, Shawn Michaels. CM Punk and Shawn Michaels. What a road CM Punk has had, making it all the way to the semifinals. Who will take this match and move on to the finals to face Kazuchika Okada and then possibly go on to face Tetsuya Naito for the PCW World's Championship? We'll have to wait and see here as both men are going back and forth right now. CM Punk shooting off. Shawn Michaels shooting off. Fireman's carry into an elbow there from CM Punk now. Stringing together a couple moves, but Shawn's going to have to stop that real quick. Oh, I thought we were going to see a back body drop to a knee to the abdomen. will be even better. CM Punk going for the pin now. Just a one on Shawn Michaels. A body slam sends CM Punk out. I thought we were going to see Shawn fly for a second. I thought we about to see it. CM Punk with the belly to back. Nope, he's not going to follow up on it. CM Punk now going into the turnbuckle. Oh my God! Sending Shawn Michaels out. Shawn Michaels now back in the ring. CM Punk going to roll back in the ring. Shawn Michaels is going to drag him out. See what happens. 
Big sidewalk backbreaker there from Sean. Hey, Sean. CM Punk trying to throw some hands. Sean with an abdomen knee once more time. And now we got a strike contest. Back and forth, CM Punk and Sean Sean. Shawn Michaels gonna take him down hard. The punches are coming in. CM Punk from behind now, dropping Shawn Michaels on his neck bone. Atomic Wedgie from Shawn. He wants the sweet chin music. One, two. And it's a 2.9. How did CM Punk kick out of that? He said, sock it. How did this man kick out of that? CM Punk, it is his destiny to go to the finals. Good God almighty, that sweet chin knocked him back like 30 feet. Sean has a string of moves going here, but CM Punk was going for that go to sleep and Shawn Michaels just decked him in the back of the neck. Down he goes, in a cut of ice. He got it. Is that gonna be it? No, that is not it just yet. CM Punk combination knees and knees and knees and knees. A flurry of blows here from CM Punk who was gonna go off the rope, but Sean was back to his feet before he could even blink. Kicks to the abdomen, CM Punk is wild and Punches to Shawn Michaels now, CM Punk is in control. Commentators curse, I apologize about that, brother. Shawn Michaels is back in the mix. A big ass lariat, now my man wants that elbow drop and he's gonna get it. What Shawn wants, Shawn gets. One, two. Just a two count. Shawn Michaels dropping CM Punk back. One, two. Just a two, one more time. The crowd is coming alive here. CM Punk wants to end it and kind of Ice will do just that. Is Sean gonna give up? No, Sean is able to get out. No last second stuff around here. Sean Michaels eating the floor as CM Punk chases after him. Going for a pin, but that's not gonna happen out here. CM Punk, you know what the deal is. And now Sean's back in the ring and he's gonna get a second to take a breather. This works out good for Sean Michaels. A knee to the abdomen. CM Punk gonna start throwing off here. Dropping them on the nuts. The Gooch Destroyer back at it again. A flurry of punches from Punk, who now goes to the top. He's going to drop an elbow of his own. And it's just a two. These dudes are actually super similar. A shot to the back of the neck there. Sean, CM Punk now. Throwing out punches left and right. And CM Punk wants the end of this match. He wants to see the end of it. Both men are down 11 minutes. Here we go again. The cycle continues. Shawn Michaels with the sweet chin music. And it's just a two. The flurry of punches one more time from CM Punk. He's gonna go for the pin on Big Shawn. Just a two count. Combination kicks and knees from CM Punk as he looks to follow up off the ropes. Whoa! A float over DDT. We haven't seen that from Punk. And neither has Sean. Has that got a swift 2.9 swinging neckbreaker from CM Punk? What is going to happen here as Sean continues the flurry of punches to take down CM Punk? Does he want another sweet chin music? Off the ropes here. Flying clothesline from Sean Michaels. He picks up CM Punk. Throws him down to the ground. And it's a three! CM Punk is going to the finals and we have Kazushka Okada versus CM Punk as your finals match in PCW Destino. This match is scheduled for one fall. It is the finals of the PCW Destino Tournament. On his way to the ring, representing Stephen D from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse. When it rains, you're probably blaming him. He's the rainmaker, Kazuchika Okada. 
on his way to the ring, representing Echo Kiwi from patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse. He's Mr. Keep Your Friends Close Put Their Checkbook Closer, CM Punk. And this is it. CM Punk versus Kazushka Okada, Steven D versus Echo Kiwi. It all comes down to this. Who will walk out of PCW Destino as your PCW August champion and go on to face Tetsuya Naito for the PCW World's Championship? Will it be Okada? Will it be CM Punk? Who wants it more? Okada now with a suplex there. CM Punk firing back with a DDT. They are back and forth, both of these dudes so equally matched. CM Punk dragging Okada now to the center, trying to get some damage to that head so that GTS can connect and finish this up. But Okada's got a Rainmaker back in the back pocket. Okada now with a Tombstone pile driver. Oh, 2.9, damn, that was close. Almost pulling away. Okada dropping CM Punk one more time. Okada now has him where he wants him, but CM Punk is going to be able to turn it around. A Boston Crab from CM Punk. Punk has been doing this all tournament long. It hasn't worked yet, but who knows? Well, how, well who am I to say it hasn't worked? Because CM Punk's in the finals. Death Valley driver from Okada. Now both men are down. We're only four minutes in, and both of these men are already feeling the pain here. Strike contest between both men, back and forth punches. CM Punk with a high kick, Okada with a big boot. They're so equally matched, it's crazy. Okada with the double axe handle over the back of the neck of CM Punk. Flurry of punches now as Punk looks to keep this string going. Boston Crab now onto Okada. Okada flips him off. Rainmaker! Is he gonna be able to pick up the W here? 2.9! CM Punk gets him down. No Anaconda Vice there, a high kick. I thought that's what we were gonna see, but he goes down. The pin, 2.9, just barely escaping. You can tell how beat up these men are. But they want this so damn bad. Shot to the chest there from Okada. Oh my God, the back and forth, this, this is crazy. CM Punk now with the flurry. Combination here. Okada jumping Tombstone Pile Driver. CM Punk fighting Spirit. Okada said, eat it again. Is that going to be enough back to back? No, just a two. CM Punk's going to go for the pin on Okada. 2.9. Oh my God. The crowd is starting to come alive here as Okada uses his butt cheeks in the corner. Off the ropes here, big flapjack from CM Punk to the ground. Rainmaker! Is that gonna be enough? No, just a two. How is Punk staying alive? Punk with the DDT now, taking a second to get his breath back. Uh-oh, you know what this is. Get some down Anaconda Vice. Is Okada gonna give up? And he does not give up. Out goes CM Punk. Okada now taking a breather in the ring. CM Punk woozy on the outside, giving Okada even more time to recover. Swinging neck breaker there from CM Punk. Uh-oh, he's up on the shoulders. Go to sleep! Is that it? 2.9. Oh, my God. How? Who are these people? Double axe handle from Okada, faking out the Rainmaker. Down goes Okada, the Anaconda Vice coming up. Is Okada gonna give up? Is CM Punk going? No, he is not. Okada's still in this. CM Punk now off the ropes. Float over DDT. Swinging neck breaker. The string of moves is starting to compile here for CM Punk, but Okada's going to fire back with a swinging neck breaker of his own. From behind now, off the ropes, Okada flapjack. He wants that Rainmaker. You can see it in his eyes. DDT from Okada now as he picks up a very woozy CM Punk. 
STO was in punk to the floor now, and oh my goodness, we have a strike contest. CM Punk, big high kick. Oh my God, they're so equally matched. There's still, they're 12 minutes and 30 seconds in and they're still as equally matched as with a bell rung. Okada wants the Rainmaker. CM Punk does not want to let that happen, but the body slam comes down. Okada's picking up CM Punk. Oh no, Anaconda Vice. No, Okada was able to stop it. That could have been the end of the match. Okada drops CM Punk with the DDT. Drop kick to the face of CM Punk. He's calling for the Rainmaker. He's not going to be able to set up correctly for it. Punk is trying anything he can to not let Okada get behind him. 10 star drop kick there from Okada. Off the ropes. Okada with the big boot. What is he doing here? Front missile drop kick there. CM Punk tries to fire back with some hands, but he's going to get some knees and some legs instead. Drops an elbow on him. He goes for a pin. Is he going to be able to get the victory? No, just a two. We're almost 15 minutes in. Okada snaps suplex. Off the ropes goes Okada. Big boot down to CM Punk. What is going to happen here? Off the ropes and both men run into each other. That's great. They're both exhausted. This is not what they need as Okada goes down. And Akonda Vice. Ref James is going to ask him, is Okada going to give up? No. How did he survive another Anaconda Vice? Okada is on his new world other stuff right now. A big boot will drop CM Punk. Combination one more time to Okada. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Okada. Oh, I thought Okada was looking a little groggy for a second. He might have been playing possum. Rainmaker on the outside. Okada truly doesn't care, and now he's choking out CM Punk on the outside. Oh my god, we might actually get a double count out. What's happening here? Oh man, they both get back in the ring. That was so close. Drop kick there from Okada. 18 minutes into this matchup. Combination knees and kicks again from CM Punk. Now center of the ring. He's going to go for the pin. Is he going to be able to get it and move on? No. Wait a minute, Okada. Death Valley driver. Who will come out the August champion? Who is facing Tetsuya Naito? Double elbows from CM Punk. CM Punk says this match is over with. He wants that elbow drop, and that's what exactly what he gets to the back of Okada. Big STO there will drop CM Punk. Okada is still putting the heat on him. From behind, Rainmaker! What in the world? How did he get... The fighting spirit from CM Punk is insane. Front missile drop kick from Okada. 1945. Wait, did CM Punk just get out of the way? Belly to back suplex. Okada back up. DDT. 20 minutes and we have a reset. 20 minutes and we have a reset, boys. Big flapjack from Okada to CM Punk now. Uh-oh, that tombstone from Okada. Oh my god. 2.9 people. And now we have another strike contest. CM Punk with the high kick. Oh wait, Okada stayed down. CM Punk on the top rope drops that elbow. Is he going to go for the pin? He does. Oh, just a two. Belly to back will send Okada down. CM Punk is starting to get back into this. Another belly to back suplex. Oh no. CM Punk down one more time. 22 minutes. Okada and CM Punk are going the distance, people. Wait a minute. Go to sleep, center of the ring. And CM Punk's done it. Your PCW August champion, the winner of PCW Destino, and the man that will have the opportunity to face off against Tetsuya Naito for the PCW World's Championship, people. CM Punk and Echo Kiwi have done it. This match is scheduled for one fall and is for the PCW World's Championship. On his way to the ring, representing Echo Kiwi from patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse. 
He's Mr. Keep Your Friends Close But Their Checkbook Closer, CM Punk. On his way to the ring, representing Xenon AMVs, he is the current reigning, defending PCW World's Champion, Tetsuya Naito. Here is CM Punk's chance, and he is not wasting any time. CM Punk representing Echo Kiwi versus Tetsuya Naito representing Xenon AMV's Tetsuya Naito, the current PCW World's Heavyweight Champion. Will Naito retain his championship or will CM Punk win it? It looks like Punk's coming out the gate right now. Naito, I don't think, expected this sort of intensity and drive from CM Punk. Well, guess what, buddy? You gonna learn today. Naito with the step up. Enzigiri there will drop CM Punk off the ropes. Oh, big atomic drop there from Naito. German suplex bridge on a CM Punk. Ref James a little bit out of position. Gonna have to fix that a little bit. CM Punk now dropping an elbow off the ropes. Center of the ring is where they're staying right now. That Stardust press, Naito does have that elbow off the top that CM Punk does have. That's something to keep in mind for when you see these dudes go to the top rope. Snap suplex there from Naito. And now we have a strike contest. These dudes are going at it. Two minutes, 45 seconds into this match. We haven't even seen nothing yet, and they're already bringing out strike contests. The knees and kicks from CM Punk are brutal. Snap suplex will cause a reset. Both of these men are putting it all on the line. CM Punk with a big suplex. Trying to go from behind. Neck breaker there from CM Punk will catch Naito off guard. I don't think he expected a regular neck breaker. Oh, a big spinning kick sends CM Punk flying backwards. Off the ropes, hits him with a drop kick. Another German suplex bridge and thankfully due to the PCW rules having no rope breaks, Naito can do just that. Hitting Naito flush with that punch right off the gate there. A backslide from Naito now as he tries to capitalize on CM Punk being out of place. 2.9 as CM Punk fires back with some flurries of his own. Anaconda Vice is hooked in. Can he make Naito tap? No, he does not. Naito is not going out just like that. Big Frankensteiner. Stardust press from Naito. Just a two as CM Punk is able to kick out. Wait a minute. Oh, the go to sleep was reversed into a pin. Shoulders down CM Punk and Naito did it. Six minutes, 12 seconds in. CM Punk caught off guard completely as Tetsuya Naito was, that was one of the most unique reverses to a go to sleep that I've ever seen. I'll be damned. Tetsuya Naito and Xenon AMVs keep the PCW World's Championship. CM Punk walks away and Kiwi with them with the PCW August Championship. And that, my friends, was PCW Destino. I hope that you guys did enjoy it. I hope that you guys are still enjoying this stuff because I enjoy making it. This is like one of my favorite series to make. I love it so much. And I hope that it's coming across and you guys kind of Enjoy it the same way that I enjoy making it. Remember, if you do, to leave a thumbs up, share your support, tell me down in the comments what you thought of this whole tournament and what your favorite match of this episode was. Remember, subscribe if you guys are not subscribed, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks once again, guys. Have a good one. See you.